Let me guess, you have slate tile, it's looking really dingy, and you don't know what to do about it. Welcome to Flipping Dust. Today's tutorial is about how to rejuvenate your slate tile. Now slate can look very nice. It has a particular appearance, and people choose it for all different types of reasons. One thing about slate is it's kind of challenging to keep it up. Now, I have a slate tile here, and I kind of inherited this slate tile. It came along with the property that I'm flipping right now, and it has taken quite a beating. I'm gonna walk you through the process as how I clean this up. Um, it, it's probably in worse condition than the tile that you have. Now, we have painted cabinets on top of this tile. We have sanded on top of this tile. We have all kinds of drywall compound that's been sanded and that dust has fallen on the tile. It's been ground in there. So when the crew is done and I'm looking through a place doing the last minute touch-ups, this was kind of on the back burner. I've been putting it off. Honestly, I haven't wanted to deal with it. Um, let me tell you something that I did do. I looked at this tile and I was trying to come up with the easiest way to address the problems here. Here's what's going on. We have the dirt on top of this tile. It is filthy, it's stained, and we have paint drips all over the place. I need to take care of that. Hopefully your tile is not in the same condition. I first started off with a steam cleaner, trying to loosen up all of the gunk that was stuck in the tile. And I mean, it kind of worked a little bit, not so well. Then I took a razor blade and tried to scrape off some of the paint that was stuck on top of that tile. What I noticed is the razor blade was scratching that tile. Thankfully, I did all these tests in inconspicuous areas. Uh, like right over here, I was doing a test and the stove was gonna go on top of the tile over here, so no one's ever gonna see it. But I was really dismayed to see how the scraping was putting lines or that it was, it was etching up the tile. So after quite a bit of research, I came up with a process as to how to address this. I'm gonna walk you through it. The first step in taking care of the cleaning of your slate tile is to take a vacuum. And the reason I use a vacuum is because if you're using a broom or if you're using whatever it is that you're using to sweep your tile, what you're actually doing is you're pushing the dirt into the grout lines and you don't wanna do that. The grout can be porous if it's not sealed properly. The same is true with the slate tile. Slate tile can be extremely porous unless it's sealed properly. So you don't wanna push all the dirt into the pores of the tile. Better to suck that dirt out using a vacuum. After you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to take a damp rag and wipe down all of the tile. After that's done, you're gonna to wanna to let it dry. What I have found to be very helpful after that, and again, do a little test spot first on your tile to make sure that these processes are gonna work for you and, and your particular tile, because not all slate tile is processed the same. So what you wanna do then is after you've let your tile dry from wiping it with a damp rag, you wanna take some paint thinner and a rag. Now you don't have to be a hero. Open the windows. Paint thinner stinks. There are a lot of strong fumes. You don't want to have that affect you in any which way. Open up the windows. You need ventilation when you do this. So you wipe down that slate tile with paint thinner and then you let it dry. I'm going to show you right now what this tile looks like after I've vacuumed it and after I have taken a damp rag and wiped it down. Here's what the tile looks like right now. It looks cloudy. It looks like there's all kinds of dust and residue on it, even though there isn't any. It looks really bad. What I'm going to do first is wipe this down with paint thinner using a few old rags. Now again, open the windows, get some ventilation when you do this. Also wear gloves that are not permeable with paint thinner. So a thick nitrile glove or a latex glove. Be very careful. You don't want to get paint thinner on your skin. I'm going to change, get into other clothes, wipe it down. Then I'm going to give you a shot of what the floor looks like after that process. Here's what the floor looks like after I've used the paint thinner and then I 
wiped it down with a damp rag. So you can see over here, it is dry and it looks a little cloudy. Over in the back, over there, it's drying as well. And over here, you can see the reflection of the ceiling light where it's just bouncing off of the wet tile. And over here, I have a little bit of paint that I still have to clean up. But I just want you to see right now in the process what the floor looks like. Don't be afraid when the water dries if the tile looks kind of cloudy because we are going to be putting a glossy sealer on top of it, which is then going to mimic this wet tile look. So again, don't be afraid of it. This is normal in the process. And I'm gonna to need to do a little bit of grout work. I'm gonna take care of that. Then I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I put the glossy sealer on. As I had mentioned before, I was gonna do some grout work. So what I ended up doing was filling in the grout that was missing. And then to make sure that all the grout lines were uniform in appearance, I painted the grout lines and I was using this product here. It does an incredible job. Here's what the tile looks like after applying the first coat of the gloss sealer. You'll notice that we have some areas where it looks kind of bluish purple, and that's just how the white sealer looks when it is applied to the tile. And it's gonna dry clear, but this is just what it looks like after the first coat. Obviously this is wet, it just went down. And I wanted to tell you, what I'm using are these standard kitchen sponges. So what I do is I just pour the, uh, the sealer down onto the floor and I spread it across with the sealer. Obviously I'm not using this abrasive part of the sponge, I'm just using the soft part. But I just gently wipe it back and forth across the tiles and we let it dry for a couple hours. We're gonna do another coat after that. And the directions on this particular sealer say to wait at least six hours after the final coat before you have foot traffic on it. Now the floor has been drying for over six hours. The sealant is totally dry. It's okay to walk on it now. And you can tell that it has a beautiful glossy coat. Uh, don't be thrown by those two tiles. They were just darker by nature. It's just part of having slate tile, which is a natural stone. Not all the stone comes out looking the same, but this slate has definitely been rejuvenated and it looks like it's new. In case anyone's wondering, this is the product that I was using. And I should also tell you, it only took two coats. The way I know that it takes two coats, it didn't need the third coat, is when I was applying that second coat, it was beating up on the tile. So that tells me that the first coat of sealant really saturated those pores that got in there. So the second coat was sitting on top of the first coat's dried sealant. So it worked perfectly. Beautiful, couldn't be happier with the results. And we have a nice slate floor. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a message in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you'd like to see more tutorials, click the subscribe, like, and notification symbols. Thank you so much for watching Flipping Dust. Happy home improvements and see you soon.